Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. Today I present to you a Thanksgiving side dish for your consideration. You know, why do the same stuff over and over? Why not do something a little, a little different? Something with pizzazz. So, today we're gonna make blackberry balsamic Brussels sprouts with cowboy crust candied walnuts. Mmm. Where'd I get this idea? Lately, I have jumped on the Spiceology bandwagon. So what I have here is some of their cowboy crust. This is Espresso Chili Blend. Good flavors there. This here is some blackberry balsamic seasoning. So I just couldn't resist. So let's give this a shot. First of all, I have my oven preheated to 250 degrees. I'm gonna take one extremely young, boneless, skinless chicken and extract the whites. There we go. Don't need the yolk. With that, I'm gonna mix three tablespoons of that cowboy crust. Now, as always, loyal viewers, all of the ingredients, their amounts, and the directions are down below in the comment section. With that, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna get that mixed up. All right, then we're gonna add four ounces of crushed walnuts. You can use whole if you want, but I think this will move it around more in the dish and uh, you'll have a higher chance of getting some uh, walnuts with your Brussels sprouts in a bite. So I'm gonna mix these up until they look all coated. All right, now I'm gonna spread these out on a baking sheet. They're gonna go into the oven for an hour. Every 15 minutes, I'm gonna stir them. Move them around a little bit. We'll see you when that step is done and we're ready for the next one. Okay, so the walnuts are out of the oven. The oven uh, is raising up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to put together the Brussels sprouts. So what I have here is one pound of Brussels sprouts, either quarter to half, to depend on how big they were. In there goes about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Get that mixed in. And then about two tablespoons of that blackberry balsamic seasoning. We'll get all that mixed together. Oh, that smells amazing. All right, now onto a baking sheet. And it's gonna go into that oven once it hits 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And that's it. Then it's just putting it together and making it pretty pretty. We'll see you when it's time to do that. All righty, let's get this all put together. Now, you know, I opened the episode saying that this is a uh, Thanksgiving side dish idea. I'll tell you what, I'm filming this in July and we're serving this with some Cajun butter tri-tips. So, you know, you can use it anytime, but it would be a great thing for the holidays. So let's get this put together. In my serving bowl goes my roasted Brussels sprouts and then our candied walnuts. Get those tossed a little bit. We're gonna dust that with a little more of the blackberry balsamic seasoning. A little bit of Hawaiian black salt. Some pomegranate seeds. And then we're gonna de-rizzle for shizzle dizzle. A little bit of pomegranate molasses on it. Then we will be ready for some judgment. All right, let's get Char in here and get some judgment. I think I got all the constituents in there. The pomegranate, the walnut, and the Brussels sprouts. Okay, I just need to try to get it all. <laughs> I'm like, let me use a spoon. I gave her the it. wrong tool. It sounds dirty, but it's not. Mmm. <laughs> Those are tasty. Does the blackberry come through? Mm. Not a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. When you're just chewing into the Brussels sprout, the blackberry comes through. But like when the first bites with the pomegranate seeds, the pomegranate came through. Okay. And then you get that little bit of spice from the cowboy rub on the walnut. It's very good. All right. There you go. Hey, do something different this Thanksgiving. Give this a try or try it anytime. Because like I said, we're eating it in July. Hey, 
I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Hit the like button. Hit it. Do it. Hit it. Leave us a comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas.